Hi, we're Dr. Rugenstein here, and we're doing a little uh, uh, vlog, I guess you'd like to say, on famous founders of, of Troy, New York. And uh, we really have to start off with somebody here, Jacob D. Vanderheiden. And uh, he was really the one who owned the, the what we think of now as downtown Troy. Um, he, uh, he, he controlled a ferry there. Um, the, the, all this information, a lot more information in the description. Um, this is his family plot, I guess you would say. Sons, grandsons. But this is uh, Jacob V. Vanderheiden, who departed this life September 1st. Well, it seems like it says month. That's got to be first. 1809, age 50 years, 10 months, 12 days. I cannot read the inscription on the bottom. And Samuel, I believe was his, well, no, I don't think it was his brother. It could have been his son. 22 years and six months of age. John C, 12 years, 1829, 1823. Not very, not very good. This is uh, Lewis R. Morris. Grandson of Jacob D. Vanderheiden, the patroon of Troy, and member of Company E. In the back, we see some more Vanderheidens. Julia, consort of Derek. That's interesting phraseology. There's Derek Vanderheiden, 1818-1817. 86 years old, 27 years, 10 months, uh, 1815, 11 years, 9 months, Jane. I'm curious, uh, look and see, periodically they would have uh, disease and uh, cholera or something like that could have come through. Brenda Vander Hayden, 1809 to 1838 was his mother. So this is the Vander Heidens. Uh, Louis Walter, son of Lander Morris, uh, related here. But um, what's interesting is that uh, he wasn't very well liked. Um, Lansing, which we'll talk about him, who established Lansingburg. Uh, we'll find that Lansingburg actually uh, outgrew Troy for a period of time because uh, Jacob here was pretty, uh, well, not pretty pretty open in uh, selling plots of land. And once he did, and new people moved in, frankly, against his will and the will of his family, they changed the name of the town or the location from Vanderheiden to Troy. And there'll be information in the description there. So this is the, the grave site of Jacob D. Vanderheiden. And there's no, you'll see up the hill there, maybe you can see up there a little bit. You'll see other places I've shown you. Uh, they've got a blue plaque. No blue plaque here. I just don't think he was very well liked. And I think that's the way it stayed. So with that, we'll go on to Mr. Uh, Lansing. This is a rather famous grave in this part of the woods. This is Abraham Jacob Lansing, 1720 to 1791, founder of the village of Lansingburg in 1771. It is now part of Troy since 1900. And here's his grave here. And uh, his crypt, which has a large crack in it. <coughs> This is uh, some of the other Lansings are buried here also. This is lemon on that side. I wonder why. Lansing on the other. Here's a perfect example of a mason's uh, insignia. 
sign case. Rather famous for this area. Abraham Jacob Lansing. Founder of Lansingburg. Just thought I'd take a few moments to show you this. Have a good day. Well, you've been able to see a couple of important graves for the city of Troy. Uh, Vander Heiden and Lansingburg, or Lansing, I should say. The, the, the village became Lansingburg, but it was Lansing. So again, as I usually say, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell, hit the like button. And uh, if you're watching and haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Check out the description. I'll have more information on these uh, graves and uh, what they represent. And uh, you have a good day. Bye now.